So this shapes toolkit, you're eventually going to fill this out on Wednesday. Please don't write anything on this page today, on the shapes toolkit page. But these these 16 shapes, today we're going to focus on getting them into our Venn diagram. So can somebody find me one shape from that shapes toolkit in the packet that would go in this portion of the Venn diagram? That would be the shape needs to have at least one pair of parallel sides, but it doesn't have any sides of equal length. What do you see in that could go in there? Trapezoid would go in there. Yeah. Trapezoid by definition has to have a top and bottom that are parallel, but none of the sides are going to be the same. Now, isosceles trapezoids would have two equal sides, but a regular trapezoid would definitely go in here. When you do this, I'd like you to write the name of it and also just a very small, quick sketch of what it looks like, too. This way we're practicing with the name, linking that name to what it looks like. Eventually, you're going to have to have all these memorized. Not for our first test, right? The first test, you'll have this pink packet. But remember, I'm going to test you over chapter one material when we get to chapter two. And at that point, you're only going to get the chapter two packet. It means you'll have to have all this memorized. But that's okay. It won't be a big deal because you will, right? Because you'll have used it again and again and again in the homework and the classwork. So. All right, so trapezoid definitely goes in there. Can somebody give me the name of a shape that would go in our center section? This should have at least one pair of parallel sides and at least two sides of equal length. So look over, look over these pictures and find me a shape that's got some parallel sides and some equal lengths. All right, stand free, give me one. Square would work, yep. Yeah. It's got parallel sides, top and bottom, left and right, and all the sides are equal. So a square could go in here. Trapezoid. Yeah, we've got trapezoid has parallel sides, but doesn't have any equal length sides. Now, that would be a special type of trapezoid. If, if the left and right are the same, that would be this isosceles trapezoid that's down here. And do you think that one would go in the center? Because it's got equal sides and parallel sides. You're right, it would. It would. All right. Can somebody give me a shape that would go in this right hand side over here in this region? We're looking for something that has two sides of equal length, but no parallel sides. What do you think, Alice? A kite would be a great example of one. It's got equal sides. The two top sides are equal, the two bottom sides are equal, but nothing's parallel in a kite. Ian, question? Another one? I'm gonna leave the rest of them up to you. I'm just doing one in each region for now. Would you? Would you be able, Aiden, to give me one that goes in the abyss, that, that other other region? Something that does not have any parallel sides and does not have any equal length. Scaling triangle. And I'm okay with you using the symbol for triangle, which is the little triangle. And then draw your scaling triangle. All right, so we've done four, we've got that means we got 12 more shapes to fit into this Venn diagram. And then you're going to draw another Venn diagram. You're going to fit all 16 shapes into that. And a third Venn diagram fit all 16 shapes into that. And then you're going to be done. And then you know, I'll, I'll put the homework up on the screen and you can start on it. Um, folks, on Friday last week, I had a lot of students who actually finished the homework in class. So they worked through this pretty quickly with their groups. Um, they had some questions. A lot of people had questions on some of these. We have not talked about what a lot of the definitions of these shapes are. So you're welcome to ask questions. Um, do you all know what the word regular means when we see in geometry like about a shape? The word regular means that all the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same. So a regular pentagon has five sides that are all the same length and all the angles are the same too. Um, that may be helpful. And you might have some other questions about some other things too. Um, you're going to find the other two Venn diagrams on page 63. 
And problem number 111, that's on the board right up here. So once you get done with this first one, you need to be working on those other two. Just show them to me when you get done. Let me have a quick look at them. I'll make sure I don't see any glaring errors and I'll give you the homework assignment. Any questions about what we're doing today? Hey, our main goal today, I love you guys are working really hard right now, but pay attention to this. Our main goal for today is just to start getting familiar with these names and shapes. That's why I think it's important that you both write the name out and also draw it when you're putting them into your Venn diagrams. That's gonna help get you more familiar with what these shapes are, be able to visualize them when you see the names pop up on a test. All right, could you please get into your groups? Send someone from your group to go over, probably just one book for their group's gonna be enough. And then uh, work on these. Once you get done, let me know. I'll check it over. Make sure everybody in their group's finished before you call me over to check. And then uh, I'll give you the homework assignment. You can, at that point, continue to work as a group or split up and work by yourself if you like. But for the Venn diagrams, please work together. Check in with each other. Compare your answers. And then call me over.